When you think about survival during the Second World War, you often picture soldiers freezing in foxholes, partisans hiding in forests, or civilians struggling to stay warm under blackout conditions. But there was one lesser-known trick that quietly changed the odds for anyone trying to survive behind enemy lines. The art of making smokeless fuel that burned for hours without a trace. This wasn't just a clever invention. It was a matter of life and death. When a column of smoke could reveal your position to aircraft or patrols, fire became both your best friend and your worst enemy. Yet some soldiers, resistance groups and rural civilians figured out how to cheat that danger entirely. Their solution? A simple, brilliant formula that produced long-lasting, near-invisible flames. And here's the best part. It still works today. Whether you're an off-grid prepper a bushcraft enthusiast, or a historian studying World War II field ingenuity, this forgotten trick shows just how creative people became under pressure. Let's dig into the science, the method, and the modern survival value of World War II's smokeless fuel. During the Second World War, especially in Eastern Europe and the Pacific, Maintaining warmth and the ability to cook food while hiding from enemies was a constant struggle. Wood smoke was a death sentence. One puff seen from the air or through a sniper scope could bring shells raining down. So both soldiers and civilians began experimenting with ways to make fires that didn't betray them. The Germans used compact Esbit tablets made from hexamine, a solid fuel that burned hot and nearly smoke-free. The Allies used a similar concept called the Tommy Cooker, but it was unreliable and slow. Far more effective were the improvised methods developed by partisans and isolated troops who didn't have factory-made tablets. They mixed animal fat, charcoal dust and a binder, sometimes soap, sometimes resin, to create dense fuel cakes that burned cleanly for hours. The chemistry was basic, but genius. By combining carbon-rich materials, like charcoal, with fats or waxes, which vaporize cleanly, they reduced incomplete combustion, the main cause of smoke. These weren't fancy devices, you know. People made them in tin cups, mess kits, and even carved out rocks. A small, slow flame gave off enough heat to boil water or cook rations, yet it was nearly invisible beyond a few feet. It was stealth survival at its finest. The simplest wartime version had three main components. Carbonized material like charcoal dust or ground coal, a binding or energy-rich base such as animal fat, lard or candle wax, and something to hold the shape. Often clay, resin, or even soap flakes. Ratios, well, they varied depending on availability, but one field-tested combination went like this. First, melt down animal fat or wax until it's liquid. Then, stir in finely ground charcoal dust until the mixture thickens into a heavy paste. Next, add a small amount of soap or clay to stabilize it and make it moldable. After that, pour or pack the mixture into small molds. Tin cans, wooden cups, even eggshells if that's all you had. Finally, let them cool and harden. That's really all there was to it. Once set, these so-called fuel cakes could be lit with just a small spark or flame. They'd burn with a steady bluish flame, clean, quiet and long-lasting. Some soldiers wrapped the cakes in wax cloth to keep them waterproof. 
Others buried caches of them in dry places, using them over weeks of hiding or movement. If you've ever built a campfire and watched the smoke billow out, you already know the same lesson those soldiers learned. Smoke comes from incomplete combustion. The World War II smokeless fuel worked because it promoted complete burning. The charcoal provided pure carbon. The fat or wax provided vaporized hydrocarbons that burned hot enough to consume most particulates. For anyone practicing bushcraft or prepping for grid-down living, this technique offers a serious tactical advantage. You can make your own smokeless fuel at home using beeswax and powdered charcoal. Activated charcoal works perfectly. Melt the wax gently, stir in the powder until it thickens, and pour it into molds. Once cooled, you have a reusable, stealth-capable heat source that works indoors, in bunkers, or under a rain shelter. Revisiting these wartime methods isn't just about nostalgia. It's about reclaiming practical knowledge that modern life has made us forget. The World War II smokeless fuel trick is one of those small, nearly lost arts that still has massive relevance. If you're ever in a situation where stealth, efficiency or limited resources matter, camping near others, surviving during power outages or operating off-grid, this technique delivers real, proven results. So, the next time you're out in the field or studying World War II survival tactics, remember this quiet little invention that burned through the chaos of war without a trace of smoke. Try making it yourself. It's one of the best hands-on experiments to connect with the resourcefulness of that generation. And if you found this deep dive valuable, make sure to subscribe to Warfield Survival. We bring you the hidden survival knowledge that kept people alive when the world was at war. Lessons too good to be forgotten. Share this video with a fellow history enthusiast, and let's keep these powerful World War II skills alive.